Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Just wanted to make a quick video just to demonstrate how to connect up the RGB controllers of the AeroCore Aero 1 Mini with the new MSI B550M Mortar Wi-Fi motherboard. Now I'm making this video because I had a bit of a nightmare putting this together because I just got rather confused by it all so I just assumed if I got confused maybe others were too and it might be useful to put this video together. So hopefully this will help. Here's the B550M Mortar Wi-Fi in place operating as it should be and in a second we'll just switch around to the back so you can see where the controller is sitting and what it looks like. So here's where I've located the RGB controller. It comes with the case and needs to be connected up in a way I wasn't expecting I think it's fair to say. So let's quickly run through how this works. So here's a close-up and these six points here in red are the connectors for the fans. There are four fans included in the case and the option to have two more on the top should you need to. Now the blue circle is where you connect the reset button from the from the case power connectors. The white circle indicates the cables that go into the motherboard and the purple one there is the SATA power cable so you can connect it all up. So here's a diagram that comes with the case. It's not overly confusing, but I was a bit confused as to what to do. So I've just annotated on the chart here, which cables you put into what. So the plugs that go back in, one I've put into the pump fan of the one, the other one I put into the J Rainbow connector. And the third point there isn't used for an MSI, but I believe is used for a gigabyte, but not relevant in this case. So with excuses for a wobbly picture, here's a quick look inside the case of where I've connected up the two cables. As you can see, one into J Rainbow, one into the pump fan, and that works well. So when you first turn on the RGB controller, have direct control over the colors. You can cycle through the different patterns within the controller by pressing the reset button, as beautifully demonstrated. By them. Now, first thing you'll need to do in order to get the motherboard to control this is to install Dragon Center. Now, this is relatively straightforward. It's a very useful app. It has lots of other things that are quite useful. But we're going to look. Of course, we're going to be looking at Mystic Light. So here we are on Mystic Light. Now what, what you need to do is make sure you go into a couple of boxes and just check them. Make sure the box to overwrite the RGB software is checked. Make sure Mystic Light is checked and then restart the computer. What you need to do to give control to, to the motherboard is to hold down the reset button twice. The case will then flash white twice, and now the Mystic Light has control of the RGB lights. So here we are. Look at Mystic Light just to prove that it's working. Change the pattern, apply, and there we go. Absolute control. Now just a quick cycle through Mystic Light in a bit more detail. Lots of patterns for us to choose from. If you need an RGB and flashy you put in, you'll be able to control them exactly the same way. Now I come to look at the video, it all seems rather straightforward. I don't quite understand why I had so many problems with it. I hope you found the video useful, thanks for taking time to watch and if you want some more detail on the build itself do check out my previous build video and the follow up video on the benchmarking and game testing. was there through the entire filming. Humphrey was completely unfazed by all of it. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, go well. <laughs>